Hi, my name is Anala Nelson. I'm a class of 2022 guard. I attend Lower High School in Hopkins, South Carolina. Anala, thank you for joining us here at Carolina Girls Hoops Report. We are at Brooklyn Casey High School at the South Carolina Basketball Coaches Association Media Day. Um, now, you are a senior now at Lower Richland. I mean, it seems like you've been on varsity for forever. I mean, since I, I, I've been in South Carolina five years. You, you've been on varsity five <laughs> You've always been and always been one of the top players in South Carolina. Now, going into your senior year, what are we talking about here? Like, what, what do you guys need to do to make that run and get to Colonial Life at the end of the, end of the season here? It's a couple of things that we need to work on. I mean, the first biggest thing is just, you know, being a team holding each other accountable, playing together with each other, you know, just the type of things that a family would do. Um, another thing is just our stability, you know, our endurance and stuff like that in the game. We got to be able to play throughout the fourth quarter, you know, just don't have bursts. You have to be a burst the whole game. Absolutely. Keeping that through, you know, you've had, always had a good rotation of players, you know, with and around you at Lower Richland. You've always been very competitive. Um, what are some of the names, maybe some younger players that are going to be coming up this year that you're going to have to trust in, you know, to make some big plays down the stretch? With the younger players, I think the biggest one would be Shania Isaac. She played last year, eighth grade year, but she's a ninth grader now. And, you know, it's kind of a big jump. She was a baby last year, but now she got people coming in that's her age and younger, and it's their first year. So she's going to need, you know, step out, step up and, you know, lead and that type of stuff. We also have a couple post players coming in. Everything's new to them. So right now we're just trying to work with them and be patient with them. But Tyra Floyd, she's a junior, and she has a big role to fulfill. And... That's pretty much it. Absolutely. That's, I, I know Shania, she's been on the AAU circuit for a while playing, and, you know, she's, she's definitely a nice change of pace guard, someone that can, get, you know, kind of give you a little bit more time to play on the wing and attack and, you know, score more than you have been as, a, you know, a lead guard, you know, uh, the lead dog for them the last few years. Um, now, you just made a huge commitment to Austin Peay University out in, uh, in Tennessee. Congratulations. Thank you. What has been, uh, what was in the recruiting process the thing that pushed Austin P over the top for you? Because obviously you've, you've received offers, you've had interest from many of schools over the years because you've been always one of the top players here in South Carolina. But what was it with Austin P that pushed you to that? Austin P, they are the ones, they were one of my last offers, to be honest with you, but they were one of the ones who applied the most pressure. And I went up there, great campus, loved the coaching staff, the players were all cool and everything. And, you know, it just really felt like home when I went up there. Oh, that's awesome. You know, especially with it being a new coaching staff, with uh, Coach Young up there and, um, you know, bringing that new energy to bring a player in like yourself that can be that, you know, person to help, you know, cement their future at the school. I know that, you know, must have been a good feeling, and um, I'm glad that it all came together for you. Um, you know, what are you getting ready for? What are you working on in your game? You know, for me personally, you've always been one of the best on-ball defenders, high-energy players, you know, in, not just in the state of South Carolina, probably in the Southeast, you know what I'm saying, over the last two or three years, always playing up, you know, 16, 17, you these last couple of years. What are some of the things you need to work on in your game to prepare to play at that Division One, you know, Ohio Valley Conference level next year? The main thing I need to work on is being able to score on all three levels. I know I can get to the rack, and I know, you know, I can shoot the ball, three ball, but the main thing is, you know, the pull up, the mid-range jumper, and that's one of the key things that I'm working on the most. And especially with a person like yourself who, you know, at times can have the ball in your hands and creating for everyone else, it's always going to be that, you know, um, that, that decision making, when to, when not to, when, when to go all the way, you know, to the hole and when not to, and, you know, I, I know you sometimes struggle with that because you're yeah. like, I see it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's always, you know, your effort and energy is one thing that, you know, from day one, the first time I saw you, was never, never, ever, ever denied. You can tell we're in a school, you know what I'm saying, the, the school bell going off here. <laughs> yeah. school, we're getting ready to change class. But, um, you know, thank you. Thank you very much. Looking forward to your senior year and also looking forward to you take this to the next level and uh, play at Austin P next year. Thank you, Anala. Thank you.